Check, 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 and he check. What's up, everybody? What's up? Happy party! Yeah! Woo! What's up, everybody? What's up? What is up? What is going on? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Seat Plan Do Show with me, professional mindset coach, business coach, relationship coach. Serial entrepreneur, Mr. Gary O'Neill Jr. If you want to check out everything else, you can check out my bio, Mr. Gary O'Neill Jr. And as always, when you see me in the grocery aisle, please, please, please don't forget the junior shout out to Pops and welcome to another Power Pat podcast here on the show. Oh man, season four, episode 22. I believe I have one more episode and that's the season finale. And this is entitled Doing Too Much. So in this episode, I want to highlight just different perspectives of when people say the phrase doing too much, or maybe you feel overwhelmed and you feel like you're doing too much. So I want to talk about it if you're feeling overwhelmed, as well as if you are an entrepreneur and maybe you may feel like, hey, I'm doing too much. So I just want to be able to go over that. All right. So our appetizer of the day. Hey, guess what? We're bringing it back. Thank you guys so much for liking this segment. The newest segment, Gary Tries Weird Beep. And I have a cereal that I need to try today. Um, and I also will do our sports report. I wanted to make sure I added that. So if you were looking for this episode to drop at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard, I apologize. I wanted to make sure I added some more content for you. All right. And so I'm looking to grow and change and evolve all the time. So I just uh, thank you for always being patient with me in the event I have to switch some things up. All right, so that's what we'll be doing today. All right, can we get to our shout outs? Absolutely. Shout out to you, 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 and you. My day one, A1 listeners, my executive producers, Makuta's own, me familia, me comrades, my comrades, my partners in crime, my day one, A1 listeners. Shout out to you. Oh, my candy corn crew. You know, I got to slide you in because tis the motherfucking season. You know what time it is. Next, you already know you're going to start seeing my social media flood with candy corn. Now, if you are candy corn, you're in a candy corn crew like me, you already know that people have been sending you those crappy memes. Oh, candy corn is just tastes like scented candles. Shut up. All right. Shut up. Okay. Shut up. All right. My day one, A1 listeners, my candy corn crew. My first time listeners or watchers, thank you for checking the show out. Thank you. Thank you, universe, for bringing us together. Okay. As well as people that are in the U.S., outside of the U.S., international love, domestic love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. You could be anywhere in the world, but guess what? You choose to be with me. And all I can do is give you information, education, motivation, and above all else, we're going to sprinkle something in. We're going to do a little salt bay. We're going to sprinkle in the vibes. All right. So let's get right to it. So, oh, man, I look forward to this episode, man. This has been a really great, great, great season. So if you've been following along, man, let me know how you've been feeling about the season. You could get on my social media page as well as you can just comment below uh, on YouTube if you're watching it. All right. So without further ado, can we get to our C plan do moment of the week? And that's sponsored by Greenland Entertainment. No, I'm sorry. That's sponsored by Heart Savers Maryland. Whoa, what am I doing? That's sponsored by Heart Savers Maryland. So right after a brief commercial, a brief word from my sponsor, we'll get right to it. All right. Your C plan do. Moment of the week is entitled Evolve. For those of you guys who are probably over, you know, well, for those of you guys who are a fan of Netflix, All I want you to realize is that at one time, one point in time, Netflix started out only having DVDs. I want you to think about that. That when they started out, they didn't have all the things they have now. All they had was you had a DVD package. You could get one DVD or two or three, but that's all they had. And all I'm just going to just leave it at that. That is your C plan do moment of the week entitled evolve. All right. <laughs> so let's get to our green light entertainment song of the week. And that's sponsored by again, by green light entertainment. So you'll hear a brief word from our sponsor and then our song of the week guys. If you're watching this on YouTube, 
hey, you know that YouTube is not going to let uh, us play music. But guess what? In the comment section below, in the details section, you can always check out what song I have for the week. All right. Coming right at you. All right. That's your green light entertainment song of the week. You know the vibes. Guys, you know the vibes. Whether this is your first time, you're already picking up on the vibes. You're already perked up. All right? If you've been with me, you already know each and every episode, each and every season, I gots to give you the vibes. Gots to. Can't have it no other way. All right? So, you know, of course, if I'm riding solo dolo, and if you've noticed this season, I actually didn't really have a lot of guests because guess what? We're back outside. So a lot of times, let me pull you behind the curtain. A lot of, a lot of times people are doing a lot of things. And also I wanted to take this time for, for me to be able to get out some of the content that I wanted to get out. Now, of course, you should always have amazing guests, but this season, hey, guess what? I, I just wanted to make sure I great drop some information that I wanted you to have. Probably next season, season five, I'll probably just have guests every week. I actually might do that. Might have a guest every single week. All right. So let's get to our appetizer. Oh, man. Got two, two major things for your appetizer. Uh, the sports report. Let's get to that first. We have our sports report, and then we're getting right into our world-famous popular segment, Gary Tries weird beep all right so let's get to our sport report first of all <laughs> let me put can i pull you behind the curtain one more time all right so i like to record i like to pre-record my shows on sunday right i try to record them after the ravens play because i want to have the content for you on tuesday right but if they play on you know, Sunday night. I mean, it still gives me time, but also Monday, like yesterday, they played Monday and it was late. So I wanted to record in the morning. Right. So I rec I'm record. This is at right now. It's Tuesday morning early. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. So the Ravens win a thriller, a comeback victory over the Indianapolis Colts. All right. <laughs> Let me tell you something, guys. I will say that I thought that the Ravens were going to lose, that the Colts came out firing on all cylinders. They looked good on the run. They were playing defense. They were getting stops. I was like, you know what? We about to chalk this one up at the bank. All right. But oh, no, 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 no. Oh, ye a little faith, Gary. Oh, no. I thought you were the official, unofficial sponsor of the Ravens. I am, guys. I am the official, unofficial life coach of the Ravens. And I can admit. I just, I just looked at that. This was good. This was going bad. You know, it wasn't that they were just, it was just a lot of things. And then when I, the last time I checked it out, the Ravens were losing 22 to three. And then the comeback happened. The comeback happened. You know, the run game was looking good. We were getting stops, getting, getting touchdowns based upon, you know, our tight end. Looking great. Now, you know, if you watch me on social, if you're on my social media pages, you know that currently I do not refer to Hollywood Brown as Hollywood Brown. I call that man Marquise after a couple of things. I don't know, guys. I actually, I, I saw the application this morning. He sent me his application on being reinstated to call Hollywood because at, at the last moment he caught that touchdown to secure it. I don't know. I may have to give him his Hollywood name back. Not yet. No, I just made a decision. Now, one more game. If he if he gets nice, if he, if he does what he needs to do in the game, guess what? I'm going to go ahead and reinstate his Hollywood name status. But my Ravens look great. They came back. That was a really tough win. That was a really great win, and now they are 4-1. and one. So please, if you have not done so already, when you're walking into uh, football conversations, I need you to walk up there rocking it out with it out i'm talking about chest out walking in to conversations all right because you see who's losing in the afc <laughs> oh man mm, 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 mm. y'all taste that mm, that sounds like that that sounds like leadership right there that tastes like that tastes like winning four and one my ravens are looking great all right they gotta tighten up on some things but man, what a this we even this entire weekend, man. What a what a sucky time to be a kicker, man. The kickers were missing up. You know, uh the kickers, the kicker on the Colts, they had a couple opportunities to win. 
and they just blew it. Now, you know, I've never played professional sports, so I still can imagine the 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 pressure of you know thousands and thousands of screaming fans yelling at you. You got the defense ready to try to take you out. But dang, man, I I would just think that a kicker would just that's all they do. They just kick. They just show up to practice. They ain't got a they ain't got to run no drills. They just kicking. But hey, man, it ain't it ain't cut off for everybody. So shout out to my Ravens four 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 in one. All right. Uh, and also in football news, Gruden, John Gruden, the the former coach, the former head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, well, he quit. But it seemed to me like it was like one of those things where, hey, you quit or we're going to fire you. So unfortunately, a couple of years back, he came out. He had there were some emails that resurfaced with him saying racial stuff, misogynistic stuff, uh, slandering the LGBT community. He had a lot of stuff to say, so they had to get him out of here. You already know what was going to happen with that. So it's unfortunate because I think that John Gruden is a great coach. And I think that with him being a great coach, that the Raiders were turning around and, you know, he was four years into a 10 year deal, you know, and it's just unfortunate to see like, man, it, it just sucks that, you know, we got, we got to chill, man. You know, if, if right now, as far as businesses, we got to understand that, you know, you, you working as an entrepreneur, as a business, that those things can come back and haunt you, you know, so we can all change and we can all grow, but ultimately that, you know, that costs him lots of money, you know, what if the Raiders would have went and won the Super Bowl? Like, you know, that would have already solidified him as one of the greatest coaches. And it's just unfortunate to see that. So, you know, but hey, things had to be done. It's, it's something that had to be done. That the, the, the organization can't allow stuff like that to happen. So it's unfortunate. All right. So Ravens win. Gruden got fired. Unfortunate. Hey, OK, boxing. See, I wanted to add some more content. So boxing. All right. Heavyweight fight. Happened this weekend. Tyson Fury fought off against De Deontay Wilder. This was uh Fury, this was Fury Wilder three, um, the third time they fought. And yo. All right, well, um Deontay Wilder got knocked out. And that was it. And I just don't think they should fight anymore. You know, I think that you know it's it's weird, not weird. But I do want people to understand that, like, hey, boxing is a skill. You you look at Deontay Wilder, he's he's cut, he's definitely in shape. He was bench pressing all this stuff like that. But and you look at Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury looked like he was probably my 10th grade math teacher, right? Or he looked like he probably worked in construction, or he probably uh, you know, <laughs> like like was a garbage man or something like that, right? Like he wasn't defined as far as shape. He looks like me and him probably look very similar, right? So, but he punished him. Tyson Fury punished that man, right? You know, I just don't like the way Deontay fights. I just don't. I, I like him. He never. I feel like ever since he said to this day, to this day, I just feel like he never just got it back. You know, I feel like it was just a lot of. It wasn't enough. Because in that in that fight, you know, now don't get me wrong, uh, the uh, Wilder did knock down Fury twice. But when you're looking at like what's going on as far as just like those hits landing from Fury, man, and he just hit him with that two piece, mop mop, mink mink, whatever, 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 <laughs> whatever um, sound effects you like to add when someone gets hit, that mink mink, that mop mop, that whatever. He hit him with that two piece pew, pew, and it was over, man. It was over. And of course, you know, social media, we're going to have those memes. So they were, they were ready to go. It's so, you know, I like Wilder, but I think that when I look at him, I think that he's beaten a lot of people, you know, he overpowered him. He was very, uh, you know, a slugger, but he going to have to tighten up. I don't, I don't think they should fight. I wouldn't even want to see that fight again. That's, that's it. You know, we, we've heard, we've seen the story three times. It's over. You know, so much, much, you know, much success to Fury. You know, I'm pretty sure Wilder will keep fighting. I don't, I don't, I'm pretty sure he's not going to listen to my podcast and say he should hang it up, but they shouldn't fight anymore. I, I think that's over. I think there's other people that maybe they can fight, but I don't know how that works. If they go fighting it and he becomes a contender again, I don't know. man. I don't know. So hopefully he he tightens it up. All right. That's boxing. OK, so uh, preseason for NBA is back. 
All right, my Lakers are looking okay. Uh, you know, I, I recently saw uh, Westbrook, you know, new addition, Russell Westbrook, um, doing a lot of turnovers, but, you know, it's preseason. I mean, he seems like he don't care, so I think that he'll be – I think they'll be fine. You know, it is an older squad. Um, it is a lot of looking good-looking teams, and we'll see what happens. Hey, Ben Simmons, sign, you know, check back into the 76ers. Now, if you haven't been following that story – uh, ben Simmons, Ben Simmons, the All Star for the 76ers, they split ways. He was like, you know, pretty much, pretty much people were saying he's never going to play for the 76ers again. He was holding out. He was getting fined, and then he just showed back up. Like he had already, he had already lost like a, over a million dollars in fines. I don't, now here's what I'll say. I think that that might have been the reason that he came back. Now he has a huge contract, but you you lost every day that like, hey, every day you don't show up, we're going to fine you. That was it. So. uh He's back. I don't know if he's going to play for them, but we'll see what happens. All right. So that is your sports report. All right. Again, hey, if you need the recap, Ravens won. Yeah. So if you're watching this, if you're listening to this somewhere where there's Steeler fans, there's Bengal fans, there's Brown fans, the Ravens won. Make sure you turn that up. Ravens won. That's all I need to know. All right. All right. So let's get to our second part of the appetizer. Look, I gave you a two piece on the appetizer. Uh, here, C Plan Do Show Season 4, Episode 22, Doing Too Much, where today I am going to talk about two perspectives on if you feel like you're overwhelmed, you feel like you're doing too much, as well as if you're an entrepreneur and you feel when you, you know, you feel away when you hear people saying, Oh, you're doing too much. We'll talk about that. Okay. So let's get to our second segment of the appetizer. Gary tries weird. Beep. All right. And in this segment, you know, of course. Thank you guys for tagging me. You know what I love? I love when y'all are tagging me on stuff that y'all want me to try, right? Do it. I think that honestly, my executive producers out here are telling me, hey, this is what's going to get you your million followers. This is what's going to get you vibrant. And I'm, and I'm going with it. If, uh, if I got to be zany and slide the slide my motivational stuff in it, then I'm doing it, okay? Because I'm tired of working, guys. Working is ghetto. All right? What am I? I'm working a nine to five. What is going on? Y'all, support me. Hey, we I need a million followers by the end of the month. What's going on? Okay. <laughs> no, but I, I but but you know, hey, it, understanding how things work. People really like the the Gary tries weird bleep stuff. So I'm gonna be doing it, right? So I've been getting tagged a lot in this, and I saw it in the store. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to bring the actual box because I brought this from home. So here is the, all right, so little, you know, little Debbie's has come out with the oatmeal cream pie. Now, you know the oatmeal pies, right? World famous oatmeal pies. They now have converted this into cereal. I know, right? Now, you right now might have a reaction like, ew, or wait a minute, did they just change the games for breakfast? Now, I did laugh. I did see Tony Baker, one of my favorite, one of my favorite comedians. He started uh, posting about it, and, you know, it's a very funny clip of him talking about, like, you know, little Debbie trying to come for breakfast. It is surprising that this is a thing, but guess what? I got it in a bag, all right? I got it right here, okay? So, and I got my milk. I'm going to cover this up because guess what, guys? If this milk company, and I usually drink almond milk, but th I, they only had this in a small size, and I didn't want to bring a half gallon of almond milk to the studio. So I just wanted to drink this milk. Hey, milk company, you know your bottle. You want me to? You want me to start promoting this? Hey, send me a send me uh, you know, let's let's talk about some sponsorship deals. All right. So, Little Debbie's came out with the cereal. I have it. All right. Now here's a little bonus for you guys. I brought it home. I bought it this weekend. Right. I was like, all right, I'm gonna try it. All right. Now also, I had my wonderful, beloved, amazing stupendous miraculous children they tried it secretly right i said try it don't tell me your reaction but write it down so i have their reactions right here they wrote it down they have their reactions so i'm going to try it first give you my reaction and then we're going to see what logan and lauren said about this all right so you know, and also if you've tried it or you're going to try it, let me know because I want to see what you think about it. All right. So I got the cereal. I, I promise next time I will bring the box. I should have brought the box. I'm sorry. But I, it was home and I was like, let me just put in a bag. And I was already in, you know, as a dad, when I'm packing the kids lunch and packing their stuff, I put them in bags. All right. 
I even brought a bowl from home. Look at that. I could have I could have got a paper bowl from the store, but no, 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 not for my fans, not for my friends, not for my watchers, not for my listeners. Uh uh-uh. uh. So here, I don't know if we can do ASMR. Hold up. Yeah, get that ASMR. Wait, M A M S R A S M R. Yeah, get that. All right. Here's the cereal. Can you hear that? Yeah, you know the vibes. All right, so I have not tried this at all. I've smelled it when uh, one of the kids opened it. I have not tried it. So you are getting firsthand right now. You are getting me trying the cereal on the show. New segment that we're going to. Clearly, this is the segment that's going to have to happen. Gary tries weird beef. All right. Now. Maybe I should give my pre my pre thoughts, you know. All right. Before I try this, let me do that. I will say I think that this cereal will not meet expectations. I think that oatmeal pies, if you are a fan of them, like, come on, yo, like that's goat stuff. So I can't imagine this succumbing to this actually doing that. So we'll try it. But let me take a hit of this milk first. All right. Oh, well, I haven't had regular milk in a long time. Wow. So I don't even, oh man, that might be a problem. All right. <laughs> no, I'm fine. All right. I got my milk. I'm pouring it into the cereal right now. All right. Here we go. Now, as always, because you know, I'm, hey, I'm from 21206, 21218. You know, I'm from Baltimore. So we don't play all that. I, I got to be able to trust you. And I trust you if you stab your cereal three times. Here we go. One for the money, two for the show, three to get ready. All right, so I got my I got my cereal in the milk. All right, got ooh. Well, let me give you some. Let me give you all of it. It smells great. I, I will say right now, it definitely smells like an oatmeal pie. A oatmeal, yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, here we go. All right, so it's actually pretty good. This is a very sweet cereal. Mhm. It's good. Um it's good. It doesn't taste like a it reminds you of it. I taste the cinnamon in it. They have like a little coating of it on there, but it's good though. It's good. It does no, I I I retract that. It does remind you of one of those oatmeal pies. So, hold up. Let me get one more. Two more. Hold on. Mhm. Okay. All right. It's good. It's crunchy. It definitely is crunchy. Um, would this rank anywhere top 10? No. No. Uh-uh. It's good. It's not bad. It's not, it's not bad. Um, yeah, it, it, they're not bad. I, I I would say one to five. I'll say a three. I'll say a three. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. It was it was okay. I I could eat the rest of that. It's cool. No worries. Yeah, it's good. It's okay. I mean, it does, as I'm eating it, it does remind me. Like if you ate it, you're like, hey, is this this tastes like it? Yeah, it does taste like a, a pie. Hold on, let me try it one more time. Let me try it one more time. Mm hmm. Yeah, it does. Uh huh. I'll give it. I'll give it a solid three. Solid three. Three out of five. Three out of five. It, it's good. It's not bad. Um. You know, there's some other series I might try, but it's cool. Not bad. Not not bad at all, guys. Three. I'm going to give it a three. Let me know if you tried it. Do a video. Tag me in it. Let me know what your thoughts are about it. It is good. I I, I may have to have a ranking system like Crunch and all that other stuff, but it's good. Not bad. Solid three. It, it, tastes, it tastes sweet. Um, it, It's okay. It's cool. You know, I, I think they got it, you know? So now that's, that's, my, that's my take. So here is Lauren's take. Lauren wrote, 
Lauren wrote this in third person. Lauren's opinion is that it's not bad, dry. It's actually pretty good, but when it's wet, it's gross. I dislike it when I I dislike it uh, when it is wet. But but that's just my opinion. Bye, people. Hearts, hearts, hearts. And she says, comment. Let her know how you felt about it. Okay. All right. That's Lauren's opinion. So Lauren says it's great dry, which I agree. That would be great dry. Like giving your kids that dry. Yeah. But as far as wet, I don't think it's gross, but I see what she means. All right. Here's Logan's. Logan says it's delicious, sweet, crunchy, and wet. Well, there you go. Lauren likes it dry. Doesn't like it. Thinks it's gross, wet. Logan likes it. There you go. All right. That is your. Dun, 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 dun. I got it now. See, now I got to come up with a, a thing for that. Dun, 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 dun. That is your Gary Tries Weird Beep segment of the day. And again, let me know. I want to see what you think about it. And also, if there is something that you want me to try and you tag me in it, you send it to me, um, and I try it on the show, I definitely will credit you as an executive producer of the show. So definitely let me know. And also, what you'll see, you'll start noticing that these Gary tries weird beep stuff that these segments will actually be separated from the actual show. So if you just want to watch this, maybe you don't want to hear the other stuff. You want to watch this. I'm giving you what you want, baby. I'm giving you what you want. My peeps, my fam, I'm giving you what you want. All right. So that was cool. Let me, let me wash it down a little bit of, with a little bit of milk. Whoa, 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 whoa. Almost show the label. Whoa. Okay. As always, if you me season one, people got to cut the check if I show it to you on the show, unless I'm using you for my platform. All right, let me wash this down. All right, that was pretty cool. All right, that was, I, I, I didn't know what to think about it. I was like, man, I hope, Lauren thinks it's gross if it's wet. I think it's okay. Logan likes it a lot. Um, I don't know. It's, it's okay. Like I said, it's a solid three. You know, I can't see me saying, hey, go get that. Like, I can't see me getting it again. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put down a list, like, to rank it. Like, you know, hey, like, crunch, you know, re, uh, you know, would I get it again? Stuff like that. So it was, it was cool. Let me, again, let me know what your thoughts are about it. Tag me in it. Tag me in your videos. If you tried yourself, let me know what's up. Okay? That was fun, yeah? All right. Let's get to our entree of the evening. Look, we had an appetizer. We had cereal for our appetizer. So now let's get to our entree. I mean, yeah, entree and it, it again, season four, episode 22. I believe we have one more episode to go. I actually forgot if I do 23 or 24 episodes, but I'll make an announcement for it. All right. So this season four, episode 22, doing too much. So I really want to give two perspectives of this, right? Because I've heard it. Even, even someone has told me that. All right. Somebody told me that recently. Well, somebody um, tagged, what happened was somebody tagged me. This person was looking for something like a coach or something like that. And um, they tagged me. And I think this person only knew me from like CPR stuff. So they was like, yeah, like, yeah, Gary is always doing too much or something like that. Sort of being funny about it. But guess what? As, a, as an entrepreneur, as a person who does a lot of stuff, I'm pretty sure we hear a lot of it. Right. So I want to speak to people who, one, you feel as though right now you feel overwhelmed and you feel like you're doing too much. I want to talk about that. And then two is for the entrepreneurs that if you come across that statement doing too much, I just want to offer you encouragement that you're not. Okay. All right. So let's jump right into, I want to go over five, five uh, signs that you actually might be overwhelmed, that you might be actually doing too much. Number one is going to be, you feel overwhelmed. Do you feel drained? Are you physically tired? Uh, you know, do you feel like it's a lot on your plate? A lot of times we don't have to seek um, validation or seek an answer outside of you just saying, do I feel overwhelmed? Yes, that's it. You are overwhelmed. OK, so when you're feeling overwhelmed, you feel like every day is just a constant fight every day. I got to fight. Right. Then that just take time, you know, and just sort of map it out. OK, here's a dad joke coming at you. I said this one before. How do you eat an elephant? one bite at a time. So feeling overwhelmed is going to be a lot of things. So what I would offer you is 
put them in different compartments, put them in different departments, right? And sort of map these things out. What are things that are a priority? What are things that, you know, can wait? You know, list them out and sort of put them in different categories so that way you can just tackle them independently one by one. Don't just try to feel like you have to do every single thing every single day, okay? So the first sign is that, hey, you feel overwhelmed. You know, doing a lot is taxing on you, on your mind, on your body. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, take, take a step back, okay? Number two, you actually try to do it all. Now, this means that like, hey, if you're actually trying to do it all, what I would offer, I, you know, I'm offering a lot of things today, is today, see if you can delegate that responsibility. Because if you are a parent, if you are working more than one job, if you have a nine to five, but you're an entrepreneur, and then you have all these other different responsibilities, Sometimes we really try to do it all and we can delegate responsibility to some other people. Okay. Like for me, like I've had cleaning companies because I'm doing a lot of other stuff. Right. And that was a great way to, you know, alleviate some of the things I had to do. So if you're trying to do it all, what I want you to do is just, again, take a step back and say, who or what can I delegate this to? I'm pretty sure some of the things that you need to do or some of the things that you may feel are overwhelming you that really somebody else can do, give it to them. Okay, give it to them. All right, you want to hire a maid service? Hire them. You want to hire someone like a virtual assistant to do some of the day-to-day -day work that you have to do? Go ahead, do it. Okay, can someone else take some of the burden off of you? Because when we're trying to do everything and we're trying to hold all these plates at the one time, you know, something's going to fall. So you actually try to do it all. So, you know, you don't have to do it all. You don't have to do it all every day, every single moment. Number three, you lose track of priorities. Now, this is one that even I experience, right? That because we're doing so much that everything seems to be the same, where some things are really a priority, okay? So List your priorities first. So all of the tasks that need to be done, all of the things that need to happen, I want you to list them in order of priority. All right, because when we're doing a lot, we we you may not feel as though one thing may have e lesser or equal value than something else when really that should have been like number one, but you're treating it like number 10 when it should have been like number one on your list of things you need to do. So losing those track of priorities because you're overwhelmed and everything just seems to be, oh man. I'm doing everything at once. No, go ahead and take time and just list them, list your track, list your priorities. So that way you can just identify those. Hey, 10 things or five things. You don't even have to make a huge list. All right. In your day to day, in, in, in your day, you can list three things. Let the first thing be the biggest thing. I talked about eating that frog. Brian Tracy has an amazing book. Talk about eating that frog. And then imagine if you had a frog that you had to eat every day. Like everyone had to eat a frog every day. Would you rather eat that frog in the morning and get it over with? Or would you rather eat that frog at, later on? Might as well get it over with. So identify the biggest frog, the biggest priority thing that you need to eat. Go ahead and eat that and then go from there. Okay. So that's three. Um, four, you don't have time to appreciate the stuff that you're doing because we're always going from goal to goal to goal to goal to goal. We don't take time to step back and say, hey man, look at how far we've come. And you know what? I, I hear that a lot when people are thinking about their birthdays. That we don't take into consideration like, hey, you've made it an entire year. Your, your, you, your birthday is here. That we're celebrating the anniversary of your birth. And people are like, oh, it's just another day. No, it's not. It's not just another day. Today is your birthday. You only get one. And today is your day. So take time. Take some me time. Take some time where you're focusing on, you know, just take time and step back. You're always going to hear me in this episode. You definitely hear me say step back a lot, especially if you feel overwhelmed, because sometimes if you feel overwhelmed, first thing we need to do is take a damn step back. Take a step back. OK. Take a me day, a mental health day. All right. Don't feel like you, you're at work and that, oh, I can't take off. Yes, you can. That's the whole you have vacation days. You have sick days, you have annual days. If you have it, take off, take a step back, take some time for you. So, and please take time to appreciate what you've done because sometimes we, because we're going from goal to goal to goal, we don't turn around and realize, hey, how far you've come, right? 
I think about all the shows that I've done. I'm at season four, episode 22. This is like the 93rd episode that I've done when I started on my own as a podcast. And if you followed me since season one, when I first started, I was in the basement of my house. Oh, I can always go back there. I loved it. Right. I probably would revamp some things. But where am I am? Look where I am now. All right. When I first started, I didn't have this microphone. I didn't have this computer. I didn't have this camera. I didn't have this. Look at look at look at our 11 o'clock boy. Look at that. Got a muralist coming in here. Right. So take time to appreciate what's going on. Appreciate the day. OK. All right. And that was the fourth one. Five. The fifth one is going to be your physical space is cluttered. Yeah. Uh huh. I know right now you're like that, Gary. You talking to me? Yep. All right. So, with number five, with your physical space, what you want, just take a look around. Is your house cluttered? Is your office cluttered? Often, our physical clutteredness is just a manifestation of what we got going on up here. If you don't believe me, clean up the space and look how, let's see how you feel. So declutter physically and mentally. All right. What are some things that you need to do? Right. Looking at your space. What needs to happen now? So just recently I had to get my kitchen tiles. You know, my kitchen floor was messed up. So I had to get that redone. Right. So it looked a mess because, of course, the guys had to come in. They had to fix the tile. You know, they had to destroy all the tiles. They put new tiles down. It looks great, right? But everything that was in the kitchen had to be moved to the dining room, even the stove, dishwasher, microwave, all these things, you know, and everything was just spilling out. So even me just coming home like, whoa, 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 this has to get cleaned up, right? Just clean it up. Take room by room. One of the things I like to do is there is an app that you can use to spin. Um, you know, like you could put different task in i'm gonna show it to you really quickly if you're watching this um it's called spin that wheel and so what i like to do you know if i don't have a, a specific thing i want to do what i will do is like with this one i could just spin the wheel see that and it just has all of the different areas in my house and i could just spin it see i'm gonna let you listen to it like right now it just chose dining room guess what i will just only focus on the dining room that's it right and of course that might have me lap over into the living room, whatever. But my main focus right now is the dining room. Okay. So I like using that because then that, that, that sort of puts a lot of things into place, but yeah, declutter your space and declutter your mind. Okay. What are some things that needs to go? What are some thoughts that need to, to go? What are some things that you need to address? All right. The same way you need to address, Hey, you have trash in your dining room. Or your living room is the same way you need to address the trash you might have in your mind. What are you thinking right now? Right? Okay. So that's the five if you feel like you're being overwhelmed. Biggest thing is take a step back. Take a breather. All right? Look at what's going on and just figure out, hey, what do I need to do? Okay? All right? Those are your top five things on, hey, if you feel like you're overwhelmed, you feel like you're doing too much, what you should do for that. Now, the second part, second part of that speaks to my entrepreneurs. Not even just entrepreneurs, creators, people that are creating things. Um, that's what I'm speaking to in this part. All right. So a lot of times people feel like if they see that what you're doing, and I'm just right now, I'm going to speak to the entrepreneur, that if you are doing a lot of different things, that you're doing too much. And I'm here to tell you as a fellow entrepreneur that you're not. First, let's just take a walk down logic lane. Let's hold hands and walk down logic lane. Let's 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 uh, walk down like we ain't got hold hands. We can just walk down logic lane. Every person that has money, that is a millionaire, billionaire, anybody, they all have multiple streams of income. All of them. All of them. So, logically, if you want to get there then you need to have multiple streams. Shaq, had, Shaq is my, that's my guy as far as a, a basketball player and as a businessman. He gets it. He has multiple things happening. If you don't believe me, go check it. Go pull up his resume as far as things that he owns, businesses that he has. He's in a lot of ads, commercials. Why not? Just saw him in a new one. 
So having multiple streams is doing too much to people that don't have the idea for that. All right. You, if you want to be successful, you need to take the same blueprint that you've seen other people do, right? Having multiple streams is amazing because those things, are, just like this show, 99.9% of, well, nine, let's say that, not 99.9, 95 of percent of this show is motivational, right? But recently, people have been really, really responding to the Gary Trides Weird Stuff stuff, the, the, the segment. People have really liked the Gary reports the news. Gary does the news. They've liked it. So that's the fun stuff. Having guests that are fun, you know, all those different things, those things count. So I can't just be, I could, I could just focus on one aspect and just only drop motivation, but clearly people want to hear different stuff. They want to hear the sports stuff. They want to see the zany stuff. You got to get zany out this month. All right. So having multiple streams may appear as doing too much for people who don't grasp that concept. All right. The average millionaire, again, has seven streams of income. Look at your favorite millionaire, your billionaire. They have multiple things going on. All right. I just I just started getting into NFTs. So uh, if you don't know what NFTs are, imagine there are one of there are digital art that you can buy. But that's it. Right. So NFTs look and I'm going to I'm going to try to get somebody on to talk about NFTs. So I'll just report it myself. But NFTs are like, let's say that you right now create an artwork that's one of a kind. I can buy that. Right. NFTs. And that's it. So it's a lot of organizations, a lot of people that are doing it. Like Steph Curry just did. I just saw him buy some. Shaq is coming out with one. So people are getting into these different markets and evolving just like Netflix. So you need to have these different streams, these different opportunities to make you what you want. Doing too much is a mindset that I said earlier, that non-entrepreneurs may impose on you. And guess what, guys? Sometimes it tries to affect us. It's not going to affect me, right? When someone says doing too much, in my mind, I just simply say something else that I drop at the end of this episode. But when someone says to you, oh, you're doing too much and you're, they're speaking to you as far as the multiple things you're doing in your business, that's just, and they're imposing their limited thinking on you. There you go. I want you to remember that, that if someone that is a non-entrepreneur tells you in your multiple streams that you're doing too much, it's simply they are imposing the reflection they have on them. And that's that limited thinking. I there are things that I talk about all the time that I can do that have nothing to do with podcasting, nothing to do with, you know, me being a life coach. There's plenty of other streams that I want. So, yes, I'm going to do too much because that's where it is. And it is the thing that I want. I want you to think about your grocery store in reference to doing too much. Which is, if you look at the artwork of this episode, that's what it was. the, the uh, An aisle of a grocery store. First, when I went to get milk today, right, there were oh, at least 10 different opportunities of milk. Oat milk, almond milk, soy milk, whole fat, whole milk, 2%, 1%, skim milk, all different types of milk. There you go. When you go down an aisle, a bread aisle, multiple loaves of bread, multiple different breads. When you go down um, a peanut butter aisle, how many peanut butter jars can you get? When you think about some of these different companies, like Nabisco, Nabisco sells uh, Oreos, but they also sell other crackers. When you think about a lot of these companies, think about Johnson & Johnson. Think about Hershey. Would you say they're doing too much? Because they have multiple things that they offer. You're thinking that Hershey is just, or Nestle is just candy. But they sell water. They have water. They have different things that they're doing. Ice cream, whatever. Hershey, you know, everyone has different things. And so people want Sometimes people just are okay with being in the middle of the pack. They don't want to run out. So because of that, sometimes they may, again, remember, it, 
someone tells you that you're doing too much in reference to the businesses that you have, it's really a manifestation of how they believe that what they're doing. They want to be in the middle of the pack. But you, as an entrepreneur, know you have to do too much because that's where it goes. So think about your favorite company, all right, and what they offer. And they probably offer, you know, more than the one thing that you have in your hand. Coca-Cola does, does not just sell Coca-Cola. That is a company. They offer different stuff. Look it up. So as I wrap this up, sometimes, of course, people want to use quotes and analogies or stuff like that to go against you feeling like you're doing too much. One of the biggest things that I've heard is, oh, a jack of all trades is a master of none. I get that. I get what that means. And if you've never heard that phrase, a jack of all trades is a master of none, meaning that if you're doing multiple things, you can't really master that. Well, for the most part, it is somewhat true. Okay, I'm a DJ. Now, am I the best DJ I know as far as mix, as far as scratching and stuff? No, I'm not. But as far as music direction, no, there's no way I could beat me. I know what to play, right? But if that was my only thing, would I be a master at it? Yes. Am I good at it? Yes. Am I a master at it? No. Because I I take I don't take as much time as I could for for that one thing because I I share it with other things. But what I like to give you is the second part of that quote that people seem to not add. A jack of all trades is a master of none, though often better than a master of one. Conveniently left off most of the time. Right? So as I as I close this episode, season four, episode 22, doing too much. I want you to think about the things that you want. You want to be financially free. You want to look great as far as physically. You want to do certain things. Then you have to do things to the max. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get into the shape that you want working out one day a week. That's not gonna happen. You're not gonna get into eat, let me like can I speak to, let me speak about me. I'm on TikTok. I can admit right now, I need to produce more content on TikTok. Now I have two ways of thinking about it. One, I need to schedule it, which I've already done, or two, could I not just simply hire a social media? a manager to do that. But ultimately, if I want to become viral, if that was my desire to be viral, I have to produce every day. And someone may say, you're doing too much. And then to, to what I would say as I end this out, you're not doing enough. Because if you speak to other entrepreneurs, see, sometimes as entrepreneurs, we speak to non-entrepreneurs and it's not a divisiveness, but when you speak to another entrepreneur, they already are open to the idea you could do whatever you want. Yeah. So when you're talking to somebody who may not grasp that mentality of being a business owner, what, what needs that, they may not have that same mentality. They may not be able to process that. So simply when someone says you're doing too much, they may not be doing enough. And it's okay that they're not doing enough, but you know what's respond, you know what you're required to do to the max right now. And I don't even post it. I don't really talk about it, but I'm going to share it with you right now. I have a um I, I have a nutritionist coach, or I have a nutrition coach, and he gave me a workout plan and he gave me a meal plan. And if you saw it, you would say that's a lot. But I look at his results and I say, hey, this is similar to what I want. Then I have to do it to the max. And all I simply offer you, if you're an entrepreneur, is do it to the max. Don't allow people to make you feel that you are getting your multiple logs in the fire. I like using that phrase. Multiple logs in the fire, especially if it speaks to you. Don't allow somebody to make you think that somehow it's wrong. It's not. Do too much. Okay? Do it. Because sometimes we may really, when you look back at yourself, you may say, dang, I should have did more. So here's your opportunity. Here's your sign. Do more. Do too much. Do more. All right? And if you're feeling overwhelmed, take a step back. Follow those things that I talked about. Okay? Because I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. 
All right, guys, that is the end of this episode. Hopefully you liked it. Please let, I know you did. Please tell me how you feel about it in the social media, all my social media outlets. Let me know on this, on this, if you're watching this on YouTube, let me know how you felt about it. Yeah. All right. Um, as always, you can catch each and every episode dropping on Tuesday. You can catch, you can get caught up on previous episodes. If this is your first time or you, you've been meaning to catch up on something, you can always go to the website, cplandushow.com. Check up on those episodes. All right. Um, if you're looking to be a guest on a show, please let me know. You could drop me a line if you want to be, you want to take, you want to take advantage of some sponsorship opportunities. Let me know. Also, hey, if you want to buy me a cup of coffee, you know I like coffee. If you want to buy me a cup of coffee or donate to the show, you can always follow the link at in the comment section, and you can buy me a cup of coffee. Look at that. All right. Well, uh, and also, you know, those those proceeds go directly to financing some of the things I want to do for this show. All right. Last but certainly not least, thank you for being a part of this show. You are such a refreshing reminder that people don't always want to hear crap. I started this a long time ago because I, I was tired of hearing cake on the radio. And what I mean by that is, is that cake is great, right? But if you're only having it and that's it, that's not going to help you, right? Right. So I, I I didn't I didn't hear any of the motivational stuff. I didn't hear the educational stuff. I didn't hear guests that could help me be better, which is like, hey, listen to this popular song and that's it. So me having people who have been around since day one and give me feedback for the show is greatly appreciated. People who let me know, hey, I, I listened to your show. I liked it a lot. Thank you. All right. You are the best part of the show. I've said that every single episode. You are the best part of the show. All right, so until we see each other again, because we'll see each other again, all right? I think I might have to go to a Ravens game, even though I, you know, I used to work there, so I sort of just watch it on TV. But may have, to, may have to pull up, pull up to the bank. All right, let people know what time it is. They already know, all right? So until we see each other again, because we'll see each other again, all right? Until we talk again, because we'll talk. We're going to talk about the next sporting event. We'll talk about football, baseball, basketball, whatever you want to talk about. And until we share those special, special moments again, guys, because we will. Always remember, guys, no matter what, see what you want to do. See it. I know you I know you know what you want to do. And if you say, hey, I don't know, all I want you to do is answer this question. If you just said, I don't know, answer this. If you did know, what would you say? I bet you just answered right now. See what you want to do. Plan that thing out. Put that plan together. A, B, C, D, E. Be serious about your planning. And above all else, once you saw what you, once you envisioned it, once you created a strategy for success, now it's time to execute. Will it be doing too much? We'll find out. All right, guys. Hey, man, your favorite six foot eight life coach appreciates you. He appreciates all the things that you bring to this entity. All right. See ya. Same life coaching time, same life coaching channel. Bye.